How's it? Indian Cowboy Doc Sports Doc. I'm going to draw Wednesday, March 27th, as we get this video to you around this time. Have your free pick winner in just a second here. It is going to be between the Clippers and the Sixers. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight free selections today. Normally we have about 10 free selections, but eight is still good. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy, and this is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy, or Arun Shiva, has been around for 52 years. Doc Sports, I should say, been around for 19 years. I'm not 52 years old. Has been around for 19 years, and Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my podcast. Our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Arun Shiva. Our next best selections are our free pick and our, uh, our free picks and leans on our daily video, which you are watching right now. If you can't get enough of our YouTube premium channel for $20 a month, uh, or if you can't get enough of us, we have a YouTube premium channel for $20 a month on Wednesday and Thursday nights. We do a live show, which is tonight or tomorrow night at 10 Eastern, and it's a great live show. Um, it's where we basically teach you how to fish, how to do your own algorithms. Uh, we slowly go through the 10 games that you want to talk about, and you get the first look on next day's ball games, uh, which is incredible value, great community, uh, not to mention a recorded podcast that is summarized at the end in case you don't have time to watch the whole thing. The link to YouTube Premium is in the comments section, as well as the link to how to get your free $60 with their premium selections. If you want even more content, be sure to check our Twitter. It has our latest updates, our hot takes, our popular consensus reports, and our most recent videos are posted there. All right, so let's get to your, what do I need to tell you? We had an amazing day yesterday, uh, the best day we've ever had, actually, as far as top plays. Uh, we had three top plays yesterday, a seven-unit NBA on the Warriors, which won, a seven-unit college basketball on High Point, Arkansas State over, which won, and a seven-unit winner in NHL on Nashville, which won. We won all three seven-unit selections yesterday. We have a six-unit selection today at 5 o'clock, which goes off early. Uh, we have won four in a row in college basketball, plus 2,600. And the four in a row, of course, was a seven-unit on Arkansas State over on Tuesday, a seven-unit on Monday on Arkansas State winner, a five-unit winner on Sunday with Iowa, Utah, uh, Iowa and Utah over. And then on Monday, we had Arkansas State again. So I'm sorry, on Saturday, five-unit Saturday, we had Seattle. Uh, so seven unit winner on Tuesday, seven unit winner on Monday, five unit winner on Sunday, and five unit winner on Saturday. That's a big deal. Then we go over to the NBA and we won all four. We're, we're on a five and zero run in the NBA now. Uh, after the Sacramento Kings, the three unit winner won yesterday. And of course, I told you about the seven unit winner on the Warriors. We actually went two and zero in the NBA yesterday. Five and zero run for plus twenty nine hundred. Uh, seven unit winner on Tuesday Warriors. Seven unit winner on Monday Nets. Four unit winner on Saturday on the Kings plus the three. Uh, eight and a winner on Friday on the Pelicans, and uh, seven and a winner on Wednesday with the Hawks. So we're nine and zero for plus fifty three hundred between both NBA and college basketball, and we have baseball that starts tomorrow. So a lot of you I know are signing up for the baseball package, and we're excited about it. We're ready for it. You'll have a lot of baseball content tomorrow, and we're ready to roll. So jump on all of those things. Let it be NBA. Let it be college basketball. Let it be baseball. Let it be NHL. As we come off back to back winners, let it be soccer or golf or MMA. All right, your free play today. I like the Clippers. I think the Clippers will do quite well today. By the way, what if I told you the Clippers don't have any injuries right now? Man, if the, by the way, Georgia Bulldogs, I take it back. Great win. Uh, I was wrong. Um, I have, we are four and one in free plays, five and two, nine and three, 12 and four, 13 and five, 21 and 10, 26 and 12, which is really good. But the Georgia Bulldogs give them credit. Coach Mike White coached them up there. And he did great. Uh, I like the Clippers today. I'll take the Clippers minus the six. I think that without any injuries, the Clippers could be as good as anybody. Um, they probably are the best team without the injuries. Uh, so the, obviously they've said, um, you know, they are without injuries right now. Um, the Sixers just beat this team three days ago, 121 to 107. Okay. The Sixers off a 96 to 108 loss to the Kings. They beat the Clippers. So it's the Clippers with big revenge here. The Clippers have no injuries. Philly shot 18 for 37 from three-point land last game when they faced them. I don't think they're going to do that again here. The Clippers are going to lock down on defense. Plus, they gave up 133 to the Pacers in their last game, which is more reason why they're going to lock down. They have to bounce back here. And uh, just getting used to Westbrook and the others back in the lineup, I think that's the reason why they struggled the last couple of days. I think that changes. I think the Clippers roll minus a six. UNLV, Seton Hall. I'm going to go with UNLV here. I think UNLV sneaks inside the number, and they could win outright, but you know it's hard to say. But I've always believed... The plus five and a half dog price uh, is indicative of the underdog winning outright. So that's exactly what it is right now with plus five and a half. UNLV is not a joke. They're a good team. They get to face the biggest team here and will get up. No recent history between these two teams. Um, 
And, uh, you know, they beat Creighton, New Mexico twice, Boston College as well. Shaheen Holloway is a very senior-led team, but still a top 280 in turnover margin. And UNLV does all the little things solid and like the points here for value. Uh, so I like UNLV. VCU, Utah. I'm going to lean on VCU here. 24-13 and 13 and 21-13 team facing each other. These two teams have not faced each other. Ryan Odom, the former Utah State coach, now coaching VCU, top 50 defense team, lost to four, uh, Iowa State by four points, beat Daytona, beat Dayton, Villanova, South Florida, first year coach doing great things for his seniors, Utah beat Iowa and USC Irvine, and I understand that, and I know Utah is the quote unquote sexier team here, but VCU is a hard fighting dog. And I have to respect anybody that beat Dayton, Villanova, and South Florida on the road. Give me VCU. Brooklyn, Washington in the NBA. I'll take the Nets here. Wizards won by six points last time. Can't lose to the Wizards um, back-to-back games, right, if you're a Nets coach, um, especially for Kevin Ollie. This team has beaten them the two games prior as well. Brooklyn won by eight points the last time uh, over Toronto, which was a big win for the Nets over the Raptors. They came back. I was on them for a seven-unit selection. The Wizards won three games in a row now, which is wild. Um, do the Wizards really win four games in a row? That's why they come in as a dog here. The Nets do make some sense here. They have revenge. I don't think the Wizards can keep up this pace. I'm going with the Nets. Purdue, Fort Wayne, and Norfolk State. Purdue, Fort Wayne is the obvious choice. So I'm going to take them here. I'm just a little surprised at the line. I'm surprised it's not minus three and a half and it's only minus one and a half. So maybe we're falling into a trap here. Two 23 win teams hooking up here. No history between these two teams. Coach Kaufman has 23 wins. Purdue, Fort Wayne beat Tarleton State on the road. That's hard to do. Norfolk State did beat VCU on the road. I give them credit for that. But Purdue Fort Wayne also beat top 140 Youngstown State. They beat Oakland. And again, beating Tarleton State on the road is a big deal. And Norfolk State has that one quality win over VCU. But Purdue Fort Wayne's resume is far better over like a comprehensive picture. So give me Purdue Fort Wayne here. Uh, Knicks Raptors. um, I like the under there. Knicks won by 26 points last time. Back on January 20th, the game went under 230. The Raptors have given up 136, 126 points to them the last two points. Making news. um, Raptors are making news for all the wrong reasons, obviously. Toronto uh, played much better defense against the Nets, just holding them to 96 points. After two huge outputs, the Knicks have to play harder here, I believe. Um, I like the under here. New York put up 124 points in their last game. I don't think they put up back-to-back 120-plus point games. You have to go back a month to for New York to do that. And I think given the fact the Raptors have given up 136 and 126 points to the Knicks the last two times, I don't think they give up that many points. I think all these negative attention on Jonte Porter on the Raptors will make them play harder as well. And when the Raptors play harder, they play better defense. Give me the under. Portland and the Hawks. I'm going with my I'm going with the Port. I'm going with what am I going with? Uh I like the Hawks. See, Portland actually beat this team on March 13th, 106 to 102. So they've actually beat this team just two weeks ago. DeAndre Ayton scored 33 points in his last game, by the way. Portland lost to Denver and the Clippers barely, but they played well. The Hawks with the revenge, though. Atlanta back-to-back wins after a long time, and they came back from 30 points down from the Celtics. I don't think they'll be down 30 in this game. I think they'll start this game quite well, quite fast. No DeAndre Murray uh, and no Trey Young, which actually means that the bench for the Hawks gets a chance to play. And because these guys shoot up, you know, between the, each of them, almost 40 shots. I think the Hawks bench is actually really good. Much better than the Blazers bench. And I like the Hawks to get it done by a wide margin today. Give me the Hawks. Cleveland and Charlotte. I like the over here. They beat this team two days ago, 115-92. to Cleveland did. And uh, this team only has won four of ten games coming in. The Cavs have been actually struggling. Charlotte lost 92 to 115 in their last game. They only scored 92 points. Look, I understand Charlotte's put up 91, 90, and 92 the last three games. I think they're going to do better today. They're at home. They have immediate home and home revenge. Not home and home, but yeah, back to back game revenge. And I think what happens here is that this game probably goes over as they are an active dog. Hence, I'll take the over. There's your eight free plays today. Hope you guys are doing great. I have a six unit college basketball today early at five o'clock, six unit NBA today. YouTube Premium is on tonight as well. If you want to support us, be sure to subscribe to the channel, buy our premium selections, and join our YouTube Premium channel. Please take a moment to like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy, working hard for you every single day.